you that it is a two consent state. And okay. so if I don't consent to a recording, then this conversation's over. Okay. If, what if, would you like to do? Um, if that's the case, I'm going to send you a letter and it outlines everything very okay. clearly for us. And we'll be going over this. We'll be going over this too, okay? Okay. So, for the, for the record, can you please uh, state your name and title, um, please? I'm Kevin Carey. I serve as the Associate Dean of Students. Okay. Let's see if I need this. So, I have two questions. I have a few questions I'd like to first ask. Mm -hmm. First, who gave the order to pull me out of class yesterday? I believe that would have been our campus safety um, because our, our faculty members are aware that we need to have an indoor mask mandate. It's per our Titan pledge. Okay. Um, and so we've asked people to adhere to that, both faculty, staff, and students on campus. Okay. And so that comes from our classroom and they're aware that we need to be following that. Okay. Um, I've been here less than a week and the school has either tried to suppress or violated now four of my rights. So let's go through those today. Okay. Are you familiar with the First Amendment? I am, Scott. Okay. Can you please tell me, since you're familiar with the First Amendment, what are the five freedoms that the First Amendment protect? So I'm going to pivot because I, I don't want you to pivot. I, I um, have th this to. is my conversation right now. We can get to whatever deal you want to get to. But However, I am, Scott, I also did not consent to be recorded. So if we're not going to, if I am not okay. consenting to recording. Since, since you're being difficult, let me show you from your own website. Freedom of expression and movement. Violations shall consist of, but not are limited to, preventing a speaker or those who listen to him or her from voicing or hearing his or her ideas, using physical means and other forms of intimidation to impede the legitimate entrance or exit of anyone into, into or from any university facility. So, based on what happened yesterday, explain yourself. Right, we have a, because we have a mask mandate, for the current pandemic, we have to follow through on our expectations to keep our campus healthy and safe. And so we have a we have a right as a private business to do that. Okay. So, and so with our now state mandate in place, we have to follow through with providing that opportunity for our students to be healthy and safe. So what you're saying is this school's policy is your mass mandate overrides my rights as an American citizen? Is that what you're saying? It is our goal to make sure that our students are staying healthy and safe. And so, yes, right now, our Titan okay. Pledge violations, our Titan Pledge policies have to be what we're taking seriously okay. to make sure our students okay. stay safe. And we'll get to that. We're, we're a little bit ahead of ourselves. So our First Amendment, it protects our right of freedom of speech, protects our right to freedom of press. Okay. It, it uh, protects our right to freedom of religion freedom to peacefully protest, okay, and freedom to uh, petition our government of grievances, okay? Yes. Yes. So, you are now violating and trying to suppress two of those five, my freedom of speech and my freedom to peacefully protest, okay? You understand that? I understand that you are, are wanting to indicate our you rights, don't have to agree but with I, also, I also am here to make okay. sure that I'm following through on our student code of conduct I understand. and being accountable. I understand. So uh, but, we also have to do that. Yes, but you cannot violate my rights while you do it. Valid, okay. But now let's get to the second thing. I'm not done yet. Okay. okay. So you are now trying to violate and suppress my First Amendment right. According to your policy, you're also trying to suppress and prevent my freedom of expression. You're also trying to prevent, suppress, and violate my freedom of movement. Do you understand that? Yes, and I was going to share with you today that okay. I want you to know that we care deeply about diversity of thought here. That's okay. part of our institution's mission. Um, however, when it impedes upon a decision to protect the health of our students, that's okay. when we have to intervene and have that conversation. I would like to, I don't have it with me, but I'm going to send you a copy of a federal court ruling. This federal court ruling happened tragically after 2017 in the Parkland High School shooting, okay? The students sued the government and the school. And you know what the court ruling said? It says that no government or school, uh, what's the word I should use for that? Uh, administration? Entity. Administration. Yeah are under no obligation to protect me under no obligation so if you are under a federal ruling of under no obligation to protect me why are you obliging yourself to protect me because 
we as an institution have made a conscious choice yes to adhere to both our our local and our state mandates mm -hmm. in an effort to support our community at large and so we cannot rightfully be here together in this space right yeah. now given the pandemic and not ask our students to do things equitably across yeah. the board and you're asking you're not asking you're demanding yes and so okay. that's where i so scott i need to talk through my side of things here you, we, we, we will get to that i'm not done on my end yet okay so <clears throat> i spoke yesterday that i want to write a formal complaint right. mm -hmm. on every person involved in yesterday's interaction for yes. my for violating my failure of my right to movement and freedom of expression yes okay so yes. where do we, so where's your boss your, and where do we go you, from there yes you will file that with our um dean of students carla carn okay. she's your advocate as a student on campus okay so and when do i meet her or where do i meet her you would first right send an this. email send her an email and indicate in a narrative everything, mm -hmm. and there'll be a time to talk with her. Okay, fair enough. That would be the best okay. decision. And you can include me in on that because part of my role, mm -hmm. also here while I'm also the chief conduct officer on campus, okay. I also serve in an advocacy role for students. Good. Great. So Scott, I, can, okay. I, can I say something real quick? I, I do want to finish one last okay. point okay. before you get into yours, okay? okay. Um, the last right, you guys, since, uh, since we're gonna get into it eventually, this is not pertaining to yesterday's situation, but you guys are also violating my Fourth Amendment right. Do you know, are you familiar with the Fourth Amendment? I am not. Okay, my Fourth Amendment right is my right to be secure in my person, my property, and my information against unwarranted searches and seizures. By this school requiring me to go take tests every two weeks, or by force of punishment, you are violating my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my person from unwarranted searches. Do you understand? I, I understand Good. what you're sharing. Okay. Yes. However, you can you can continue however you like. Yeah. As we um, first and foremost, I just want to back it up and park it that second. I want to go back to this to this concept of. I value engaging in conversation with you about this. One of the things I love about Illinois Wesleyan is we get to have conversations around diversity of thought, mm -hmm. ideological debate. I love that. I, I think that that's one part of being a student here is that we get to have these conversations. Mm -hmm. However, I have an expectation to be accountable to our mm -hmm. student body and our code of conduct as a private entity, especially as it relates right now to our, to our Titan Pledge and okay. keeping our community healthy and safe. Um, and so I have three things kind of want to outline with you here um, and how we move forward. And before I share this with you, I, this, decision is, this decision is yours. Of course it is. Right, and you shared that you get to make decisions yeah. based upon your rights. So I'm putting that out here for you. So I have, over the course of, since August 17th to August 26th, there's been three separate incidents where we've had Titan Pledge violations. So. Um, outside of Arnold Health Services on August 17th, um, when you were over in Health Services providing documentation and there was a refusal to wear a mask and be distant with a staff member. Two was in English 115 when there was a refusal to wear a mask on August 24th and on August 26th, which was uh, yesterday. When was, the, uh, when was the second one? August 24th, that's when the report was shared with us. Okay. And then August 26th, um, which was yesterday, um, where there was a refusal to wear a mask and then there was a result of a response from campus safety um, of which um, Mark Welfner, our director of campus safety and I talked and um, when you connect with Carla there could be information shared about who was part of that um, that engagement there are three things here and there's one for me that is the hopeful solution we can come to mm -hmm. the other two are not ones I want to come to okay so the one is to remain a student here at Illinois Wesleyan Per our university and our state regulations, we have to be masked indoors. That is, and in, in if we can get there, some of these other conversations, Scott, are things that we can talk about because we're at a place now where both our university mandates and after yesterday's state mandates, we're in a place where we don't have much wiggle room to decide or make make any. I, I don't think you really guys want to say you guys have really no wiggle room. It's, it is really what it is. It's just straight. And you guys are overstepping it already. We're just very clearly defined and in alignment with the CDC, and we want to keep being healthy and supportive yeah. of our community. So let me ask you one quick question. So CDC says I shouldn't eat raw eggs. I got raw cookie dough. Am I going to get in trouble for that at home? No, you're not. No? Okay. Because it's, just, just, okay. Thanks for not a public that. health, Not a oh. public health crisis. Okay. All right. Well, guess what? CDC is not elected officials. Correct. However, okay, they give you. the guidance. To okay. us to provide thoughtful decisions. And you about also are not, are, are not elected officials either. I'm not, we are not elected officials. Correct. We're here to support our students. Thank you. Um, the other 
to our places I don't want us to go. Okay. Um, a self withdrawal from the university due to expectations of I'm self not going to self withdraw. Okay. Just go on from that. The other is a suspension from Illinois Wesleyan University, and this would include our administrative withdrawal from all classes and attendance of campus okay. activities. This letter here puts you on notice of these violations, okay. and any further violations would result in an immediate suspension and trespass from campus. I am letting you know right now that according to your rules, my freedom of expression and movement, okay? I am challenging those right now. Okay. So it's well, a, your decision's up to you. So here's what I will do after this. I have I have a class at 11, 15. I will be in it today. You're gonna have to pull me out of it in handcuffs. Okay. I can alert our campus safety about that. Please do. Um, and I will send this letter to you. The decisions are yours. Is this clear to you? Do you understand what I've read to you? Scott, do you understand what I've read to you? Okay. I will send this to you electronically. And we can go from there. Okay. Also, are you done with what you need? Yes, I am. Okay. Great. Thank ready. you, Scott. Oh, I'm not done yet. Okay. So, it's really apparent that this school is ready to violate my rights. So, first question: What law have I broken? These are not laws because okay. we are not. Okay. These are university codes of conduct that okay. you agree to as a student here at Illinois Wesleyan University. And you agree to let me have a freedom of expression according to your own policies. So you're going against your own policies. Do you realize that? Your freedom of expression and you can peacefully protest no masks outside of our buildings because okay. right now we have an indoor mask mandate. Okay. And guess what? You, you, you guys accept government funding, right? I'm not aware and I yes, do not you know do. the answer that's to that why, question. That's why you can't smoke weed on campus because of the federal funding. You guys take federal money. However, we still okay. remain our private entity status. Okay, but you can't tell a uh, private, uh, private citizen who pays taxes and you take his tax money that he can't be on campus. So my point is I'm not trespassing on here. Even if I wasn't part of the school, I can be right here on campus. I'm not trespassing. Okay? I have every right to go into class because I'm a student here. You guys accepted me. You accepted my money. Okay. Until we now, withdraw now, that now, from now, now here's here's the problem. Now, I don't know the I don't know the legal aspect on this side, but here's how I think about it. If I would buy a house, and I go through the house and everything, and they don't say there's an HOA on the house, and then all of a sudden I move in and everything, and I get a knock on my door, and someone says, "Hey, this is an HOA. Do you guys uh, you need to start paying dues?" I don't have to be part of that HOA because that was not disclosed before the sale of the house. You, you accepted me into this school, you accepted my money, and then weeks later you start telling me the things I need to do in order to show up. However, we've made it very clear over the summer through our email communication After that we have accepted my money. That we are we have had the Titan Pledge okay. for a year and a and half. Please, please show me the Titan Pledge that I signed. I can you did not sign it, but Correct. it was sent to you and you are aware of that it exists. Yes. And so and what's I the still have a whole what's, what's the punishment for not signing a pledge? The the sign the for not excuse me. The punishment for not assigning or signing the pledge is that we're at this conversation okay. stage which and so so if i don't sign a pledge which is a promise you're forcing me to promise or else i'll be suspended that that is that is where we okay. are scott and you're telling me that if i continue to exercise my right of freedom of movement and freedom of expression this school is going to suspend me Yes, because okay. we... And you're also telling yes. me that if I invoke my First and Fourth Amendment rights, this school will suspend me. If you cannot... The simple fact if is I, if you cannot If comply, I invoke my First Scott, Amendment I right, will make, this school you're suspend me? You're asking me a question, and I am trying to answer it for you. If you... It is simple as this. Mm -hmm. It is the indoor mask mandate. It's the only... Okay. Right now, Scott, that's the one thing I'm after here right now is that for you to be in our classrooms and for you to engage intellectually with us here, I need you to be in a mask indoors. That is where I am. It does not mean that you can't peacefully protest outdoors in a space without a mask on. Okay, so there's limitations to my peaceful protest. Correct. Okay. Based upon okay, so now the school is limiting my, my ability to peaceful protest. Right. Okay. Scott, Thank I'm going to I'm gonna share. We're not going to probably you, get you, to an agreement here. You just, you're giving me great, great content right now. You're giving me everything I need right now. You know that. And I just want to make it clear that I did not agree to this. You don't have to agree to it. I let you know on the video recording, it's my First Amendment right of freedom of press. Okay. To be transparent. Okay. It's for both of our safeties. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm going to send this to you electronically. Thank you very much. And we'll be I in will, communication. Um, who, who do I email? 
Carla, about Carla Carney Hall. Carla Carney Hall. Yep, she's are, our dean of students. Are they? Are you two related? Car no. Okay, okay. Different. Different last names. Different now, last names. Now, um, Kevin Dean Carney. I. I however, um, I'll just call you Dean Carney respectfully. Um, I find it very insulting that I am at a liberal arts college and I have to sit here and talk to you about my rights. I think it's very insulting. Understood. And I. Th I think it's time you guys learn. Okay. You guys need you guys need re-education right now. Okay. Understood? Yes. So do you have anything else for me? I do not. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Dean Gary. Have a good day. You too.